Now, what we're going to do is we're going to leg it. Because why? Because this is a place full of headhunters, witch doctors, and cannibals. Being here is not the best place to be. I'm not going to lie. We'll come back here later, definitely. But right now, I just don't want to be cuddled by a cannibal. Especially... One second. You have a giant stick. You also have a mighty fine abs. And then where's a lady? I'm sure there's a lady somewhere around here. There you go. You see this lady in basically the form of a bikini attire and a giant spike that's going to go right up your urethra. It's like an extreme sounding session. That's how you know it's a headhunter. She's looking for the perfect head so she can actually do a good sounding on them. But if you do not know what I mean, Google is your friend. I also basically spelled it out with Euphra. How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing pretty well. Hello? You're only selling up No for... room. No room? You're going to sell some things, my friend. You are buying that. Oh my god. That is an amazing set of armor right there. It's made of Would gold. Like buy something? Why, yes, Brand. You can have all of this, you see. Yes. There you go. Would you, like to buy something? you have anything interesting up in a maces? No, you don't have anything interesting. What about you? What you see is all I have. I mean, you say that, but I see a mighty, mighty fine pan on the wall. You won't let me buy the pan, will you? No. But either way, I want to buy this bling doing? armor. Now, for those who don't know, the rules of every game ever, the more gold and bling and gems on your armor, it clearly means it's better in every shape, way, or form. Bling armor is, of course, the best type of armor. If you don't agree, then there's probably something wrong with you. And that's not a lie, either. Now, I am literally the tankiest person here. I've doubled the amount of everyone's health, and I actually have the same amount of armor as good old Lani right here. The best thing I love about this particular Might and Magic in general is that the best type of armor in every regard happens to be armor made of bling. That's not even a joke, either. But what I think I might do is when I eventually get a nice, lovely set of plate mail, what I will do is I will, in fact, give my lovely plate mail, my lovely bling armor to the master of swag himself, Gears. Also, I, would, I am going to note this. I am saying swag a lot in this playthrough. I can blame Gears for that, but that's his title. Now, right here, you have master archers that wear skin-tight leather suits and have puffy red hair. Personal, personally, that sounds like a dream to me, but nevertheless, they're here to murder you. Especially that one right there. That fire archer is firing fireballs at me. I don't mean a good type of fireballs. Hello, Symphony. How are you doing? Hopefully you're doing well. Right now, we're power... Well, we're actually power our way through this place. We're trying to get that lovely magic. So Razor right here can become useful. Right, let's jump across here. Whoop. There we go. Now we're in Freehaven. Now Freehaven's a wonderful place. Now once you come here, you can all... Whoa! Hello, magical bow. That's a magical bow. I like that. You also got a, uh, a precision bow. Yes. What type of armor do you have? Armor in the land. Hello, Angelic Helm. That is the best helmet in the game, I believe. Wow. Hello, helmet. Now, this is why we love this place. This place is amazing for that reason, that reason alone. Hello, Gilreno. It's nice to meet you. Yes, it's, it's, she's a lovely lady in the party. Definitely had one too many shandies. In fact, she's not drunk, she's insane. Obviously, if you had an up. Why can't I go into here? That place seems to be a bit bugged. Hmm. It's strange, isn't it? Hello. Now, do you have anything wonderful you want to give me? Fly. Oh. Okay. Okay. We're getting money. How much was that? That is 9,000 just for that. My God. Okay. Where's, where's the bank? Bank man. I'm here to... You can have everything. I don't mean you can have everything. I want everything you have of mine. I'm here to make you bankrupt. We're gonna make you grease in this place. Insanely drunk. You know, that is absolutely true. We should make her insanely drunk. 
Insane? She's attempting to lick her nose. You know, that makes a lot more sense. People say she's insane for trying to lick her nose, but to be honest, it's a way a woman likes to communicate with everything in the world. I mean, it's perfectly normal for a woman to do, to do it exactly. Do for you? It's perfectly normal for a woman to do it. Exactly, Alex. It is normal for a woman to do it. If you know a woman who likes to lick her nose, then she's doing it for a reason, trust me. Let's take 30,000, please. Funds. You say I have 30,000 goals, but there we go. Apparently, that building that I tried to go into was the poor man's Buccaneers Guild, but the developers did not pull it in for some strange reason. Licking no noses is definitely better than licking corpses. You know, you speak the truth right there. That is definitely a thing. Licking corpses? Kind of something really out there. Not gonna lie. But whatever you're into is whatever you're into. If anyone out there loves licking corpses, maybe playing with them, then good for you. That's really all I've got to say. So let's see here. We want to find the Water Guild, because the Water Guild is the reason why we're here. Why have you liked licking the nose of a corpse? Then, then I don't see a problem with this. Because you can't balance it out with one evil with another. Do you have Town Portal? You do not have Town Portal. Oh. That changes everything, but I will get Lloyd's Beacon. Now, Lloyd's Beacon. Hello, Ladyface. Hello, hey. Sandy. How you doing, Sandy? Dragons. Dragons are not only the adept combatants, they're also wily spellcasters. Few people appreciate dragons' grasp of magic, and many cocky warriors find themselves unprepared for a dragon's true power. Carlo Tommy. Apparently, he is a good friend of Cheryl, who is lost in bootleg base, looking for people to help him out near the docks. Oh, right, yeah, that man, I remember him. How you doing? As you can see, there's people everywhere in the city. This is the biggest city in the game. It's a wonderful place. Now, the only place I've ever been is the fireplace. Oh, I want that so badly. Meteors coming down from the sky. Unless you have incinerates. You do have incinerate. Oh, I want both of these so badly. All right, chat, choose. Should I incinerate someone to ash? Or should I have meteors flaming from the sky? Choose now. Am I choosing? I'm going to go sell some things. Because I'm sure we've got some things to sell, don't we? So, Lloyd's okay. beacon. And then fly. Okay. Praise the space rocks. Then very well we should get a meteor shower. We shall shower the place with meteors. In a sense, the place is Saturn. I mean Saturn, isn't it? Or is it Jupiter? I mean Saturn of the rings, I don't know. I can't remember exactly. My celestial knowledge is not too good these days. Because I, I used to think, you know, put as a planet, but apparently I'm told one day it wasn't a planet. Now I'm told it's a dwarf planet. Make your bloody mind up, people. Weapons in the land. Right, what we want to do here is... Oh, we have goodies, don't we? Yes, we do. Ooh. Since you two are not too good of a bow, there you go. You get the good bow. I don't Ooh, know. Oh, we have that. Can you end the ah. No, you cannot. We actually have a lot of armor to sell. That should net us a good amount of money. Meteor Shower is not, in fact, useless. It's a very powerful spell. It's a toss-up between Starburst and Meteor Shower, but personally, I prefer the aspects of giant balls of fiery rock. Or as I should say, molten rock coming down from the sky. That, in itself, sounds like a wonderful thing to me. But that's just me. Some people call me slightly insane. Should we get rid of that Night Gauntlet? Nah, we'll keep it. But we'll get those pair of shoes. Actually, what do you sell? Ha! Ah, you sell plate mail. Do you sell normal plate mail? You do, but it's ridiculously expensive. Come back soon. Ah, oh, well, don't worry. A good offensive spell is Psychic Shock. A lot of creatures are immune to it, but the ones that aren't take a beating to the brain. It does 1, 2, well, 1d12 per mind magic skill. That's a lot of damage. But I'll tell you something I really like. I like Mass Distortion. It's one of my favorite spells. I hope they're overpowered. But I like, in these playthroughs I'm doing, I will not go with Mind Magic. Reason why is because Mind Magic is actually very powerful with, what's it called? It's, I, I can't remember, I think it's Dragon's Blast, I think it is. I think it's something like that. And you can cheap out every chest with Telekinesis. So 
So that's the last thing to do. So Lani, yes. there you go. You know, you now know how to summon meteors from the sky. Summons flaming rocks from the sky and large radius surrounding your chosen victim. Try not to be near the victim when you use this spell. And we also got Lloyd's Beacon. Lloyd Beacon is one of the core points of light magic. But with that, we have gained every point of, uh, we, well, everything we need, aside from Town Portal. Yes. You once dealt 700 plus damage with mass distortion to a blue dragon. Wow, that's a lot of damage. That's why I love mass distortion, it's a wonderful thing. So right now I'm just exploring town. I am. What I should have gotten, actually, I should have gotten raised dead. That actually would have been a wonderful thing. Most likely. Raising people back from the dead does sound like something we should do in our lives. Right? Shared life, that is, uh, I think... Okay, there we go, 6,000 gold. Whew, that's expensive. But I think we're broke, aren't we? Yes, we are completely and utterly broke. Hello, Tom! I think there are people after me. I think, yes, just what I thought. There are redheads in tight leather outfits. Sounds like a dream to most people, like myself. But nevertheless, we sadly have to murder them. We can't be friends with them. There's only one thing they know, and that is to murder us. It's a shame Lani doesn't have much in the shame of... Um, spell points. Exactly. So many shiny spells, but no power to use them. Ah. Yeah, it's a bit of shame. But one day, Lani, one day, you're about to murder everyone with a nice, lovely thing. Ah. There we go. Uh, murdering everyone. I, I can't believe we're actually managing murdering these redheads so easy. I actually got to try something. Wow, what? Ten permanent accuracy? What month is this? So May is the accuracy month. Raising people from the dead? Apparently, Owls did that in the last D&D session. Was also bitten and turned into a vampire while trying to seduce a vampire. Sounds like a win to me. I mean, who wouldn't want to seduce a vampire? I mean, a cold body, I mean, immortality, sounds like a perfect thing. Now, where is a fire archer? I want to see how well I fight one of those. Uh, wow. You just die instantly, don't you? Yes, you do. That's amazing. Uh, oh, I'm gone. I just need to kill two more lovely ladies right here. Uh, Wonder. It's absolutely randomness, but I'm going to say this. It was my plan the entire time. I knew the month was May. I knew it was going to be May month, and that's why I came here to get the accuracy. It's an entire plan the entire time. Yes! I mean, why wouldn't I not do that? In all seriousness, I had no idea why I do that. You can summon six or so in the village and the. No! I know what we're talking about, but what is a test? I don't want to actually do it because. Oh, hello. Oh, he's just normal rock. Yeah, I don't want to actually go summon lovely fire archers because they will murder me completely and utterly. Especially when Lani doesn't have any mana. That does sound like a horrible thing entirely. Excuse me, mages. I just want to go find a nice redhead in green tight leather armor. I want to test my prowess out. Because if you can kill a redhead, this one over there... Oh, oh God, it's two of them. Right, so this is the ultimate skill. If we manage to do this, I'm going to be proud of everyone. So much. Yeah, raising these spells. Take shield. Oh, it's not party. Oh, God. Oh, uh, it was its bless. There we go. Alright, where is she? But there's one. We get the one by itself. Right, come here, you. I say itself, it's just say herself. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Alright, you. It's time to die horribly. If I manage to kill you, I'd be happy. That fire's not doing too much damage, actually. Wow, we managed to kill one. Let's try and kill another one. Hello, don't mind me, I'm just in your face. Ow! Was that you? I think that was you who hit me just then. Cool, you did a lot of damage. Now, if we can kill this next second fire archer, I'll be happy. If not, then we'll run around like a coward and scream. I mean, that also sounds like a good idea. Yeah, it's those mages are ripping me apart. Okay, Lani, we need to back off. Oh, it's also all of them too. 
Alright, let's just uh, do a bit of cure runes right here, as we've been having my everything under the sun. There we go. Razor, I need you to first aid him for the moment. Right now, we're being chased by a bunch of mages and women in tight clothing. Actually, they're all wearing tight clothing. Oh god, I just walk into a bondage fest? Is it what's going on? Is it like a bondage festival? Is that a thing? Because I know gay pride's a thing, but comparing gay pride to um, bondage is like, that is just insultive. That is. Because it's not the same thing. Unless you're born into bondage. Then it is kind of the same thing. But it defines a person, especially in Russia. Especially in Russia. But anyway, we are done here. Men in tights. Run, you fools. Copyright by Cold Jet Jet 2015. Alright, let's go back to... Mages are typically glass cannons. Uh, typically, unless you're playing Dragon Age. In Dragon Age, I know that for a fact that you can just go around as a warrior mage. You can wear plate mail and cast magic. Now, where's the horseman? I believe there's two horsemen, isn't it? I believe so. Oh, yeah, there's one over here. Now, don't take me to the undead lands, please. Ooh. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? I don't care much for you. Need a ride? Silver... Silver code. We don't have any mana. We don't have no mana. We don't have any m money. If we had money, I'll c totally go to that cove. Because light magic. Right, let's think. Where's the other one? The other one is down here. I had a look at the map just then. Actually, before we leave, we should show you a bit of the plot. Because the whole point of this game right now is we're trying to get the point from every single lord. Right, we're going to try to get that promotion quests done and so on and forth. But, there's a heavy but. We have two things we must do. We must gain light grand mastery and water mastery. No, grand mastery is not in this game, is it? No. So as you can see, there's a bunch of people thumbing me down. And I don't mean in a good sense. Right now, it's like a gladiator ring. Because the whole thing is, is permission to the oracle. I'm uh, only allowed to vote issues that Lord Temper specially instructed me on. The Ghana is voting and I will approve your rec his recommendation and I will vote in your favour. So if we do all six lords... We can go visit the Oracle, and then we can actually go with the story. So that's basically what we're meant to do. So, but the plan is, before we do that, we must get Water Mastery and Light Mastery, and we must find the Ill-Gotten Cove. The reason why we do that is because we're actually very close to it, in fact. We just need the money, and we need... Hold on a second, one on the left. All right, I'm going back in, one second, I've been asked to go back into it. I'm like, oh, be there in a second. Right, jump. If you jump, it'd be faster. That's not me what the rules in every single game ever is. Right, one on the left. Him. Preston Steele. You think you know this guy in real life? In fact, he reminds me of a YouTuber, I think. Yeah, I think a popular YouTuber. Yeah, I think he does. I can't remember his name, though. But anyway. I think mean, a lot of people are very uh, stereotypical, you know, have a nice hat and a goatee that's black. Yeah, that's in, that tends to be a typical thing. But anyway, let's go back to New Saw Pickle, or a Castle Iron Fist, if we can. And by then, we shall go do... What should we go do? We could probably do... Right. Blackshire! <sighs> you know what? Yeah, we're gonna go to Blackshire. Horses. <laughs> oh god, we're in Blackshire. Why am I here? Oh god, why am I here in here? Oh god, I'm in Blackshire. Don't touch the merchandise. Hello. Oh no. Now, for those who don't know much about Blackshire. Yeah, for those who don't know anything about Blackshire, it's uh, not a nice place. I think it's place. closed. Yeah, I think that's the best way to do it. Okay, we're going to do the ultimate test here. How strong are we? Oh yeah, obviously I've got the crazy lady to take care of with the Blackshire. Now, for those who don't know anything about Blackshire, Blackshire is a very high-end place. It takes you to every... End game area in the game, aside from two of them, which you have to go through at the well. Basically, you have to go through this place to get to the other places that are very late game. 
Now, the thing we are worth to fight is a werewolf. I want to fight a werewolf. You call me insane, but I want to fight one. This is a test of metal right here. I want to try- oh god, load them all. This is not good. Okay. Uh, now, the plan is... Lani! Meteor shower! My meteor shower is amazing. I think we can all establish that. If I can kill all of these werewolves, I'll be very happy. Then I know that early temple shrine thingy, Majiggy, is by far best early temple shrine thingy. But just like that, Lonnie's now out of mana. Oh my god, we just killed a werewolf. My god. Alright, we're going to do the ultimate test. You had a dream about being one of those werewolves in Blackshire. That's not like an interesting Greetings. dream. Master Swordman, Nikolai. Prince Nikolai shows incredible perception and creativity for his young age, much like his father did. I don't think people give him enough credit, the more concerned of his age and his ability. The Master Swordsman says that nice he's to got to you. believe him. And you said the exact same thing, the Master Shield. So you had a dream about being a werewolf, Greetings. did you? That sounds like an interesting dream. Greetings. Right now, I'm trying to find someone who would tell me about the werewolf invasion. Nice to see you. No. Oh, here we go. How Blackshire. Are you? Here you go. The people of Blackshire are falling under a, a terrible curse. They turn the werewolves at night. Go kill some more, the chat says. I will indefinitely. Do I want to drink from this and then cure myself? No. Because I remember one thing about a Blackshire place. It is annoying and very expensive. Very much an expensive part. Hello, a savage spear. Oh, yeah, I forget you're a spearman, aren't you? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're a spearman. Let's give you mana because we need her to have all the mana we can if we're going to fight werewolves. Right now, we are literally twilighting it up here. We've got topless werewolves and everything. Oh, no. A greater werewolf. Oh, God. Okay, this is going to go horribly wrong. I know it. Right. Uh, can I trigger one of you, perhaps? Right, we triggered that werewolf man. Well, it's just pepper with arrows for the time being. Right now, if we manage to kill him with arrows, we know that we're decent. Apparently, Symphony had a, a nice dream. He went... As we went into the lair of the wolf, everyone was partying with werewolves, and with a baguette table, a baguette, no, a ba banquet table, full of fruit, meat, vegetables, and happy fun times. No heads and sticks. And apparently he was 16 when he had that dream. Sounds like a nice little dream to have at such a young age. Sounds like a party dream. Right, don't kill anyone, please. Wow, we actually managed to murder him. Okay, so we are powerful. Right, that's it. We're going to trigger all of them. Right, what we need to do is obviously do that. Now, the reason why we do that is for the possibility of not dying. The possibility of not dying compared to the ability of dying is a lot different. How's everyone's uh, thing? So we've got a few minutes left. Do that. Number five, go! Now, the main thing is focusing on those greater werewolves. Those greater werewolves are a big problem. What's, what's the worst that can happen? Death? Laugh at it! Become the master of those dogmen! You know what? That is completely true! After I kill these great werewolves, I'm gonna charge in like there's no tomorrow! Yeah! That sounds like a great idea! Fireball! We don't have enough spell points. That's a bit upsetting. That's very upsetting. Right, that's one gone. Great werewolf, I need you to disappear, please. You know what we should do at times like these? We need to get haste going. There's more greater werewolves. So that just happened. Right, let's go back into town for a moment. For no reason at all. Let's just go back into town and find that, mount that fountain. Uh, we might become absolutely murderous by Lani's insane visions. But nevertheless, that is something I wish to do. Oh god, so I think a werewolf, werewolf is coming as well. Of course it's the greater ones. Alright, we're going to go to this guy's house for the time being. 
What would also be great is if we could bring him back to the new life. That would be great. Oh god, this is going to go horribly wrong, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. Now, because we've got a nice, lovely meteor shower, don't kill anyone, please. Aha! No one died horribly! It's beautiful! Now we just need to wait for Lani to regenerate. Aha! She regenerates. Go! I'm surprised that man hasn't died yet. That Barris is witnessing literally meteors coming down from the sky. And yet he's not even caring in the slightest. I'm sorry, if I saw someone summon meteors in the sky twice, right now 16 meteors came from the sky and landed right in front of me, I would absolutely panic like anything like that. Save the villagers? You're joking, these are the villagers! The villagers are the werewolves! That's what you don't understand! Oh god, I'm unconscious. Aha! And just like that, we killed the greater werewolves. Wow, this is going amazingly fun, actually. It's a shame I don't have telekinesis. Do we have a scroll of telekinesis? That would be lovely. Now, for those who don't know what I mean... Oh, you'll know what I mean. Yeah, I think it's closed. You're not allowed to be closed right now. Let's wait for tomorrow. Everyone's weak. We'll take a sleep at the inn. Can I help you yeah, do you have a scroll? Me? Oh, hello, Meteor Shower. It's like you witnessed everything. It's like, yeah, I need to store this. Ooh, an ancient amulet. The amulet is composed of two pieces. The front piece is an ancient, perfectly cut rectangle of a strong stainless metal. The back is more recent gold chain and a clasp. Be careful when expansion it reveals that the plaque displays the name of a long dead soldier or worker. Symbols of the front probably indicate the status and rank. So basically, what well, those who don't know, the ancient uh, amulet happens to be kind of like a key card of the ancients. That's what I believe it is. I bless what I believe. And it's always over it's always a medal. It's one of the two. It's a key card or a medal of the ancients. And for those who don't know what I mean, you will do eventually if you carry on watching my playthrough. Da 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 You don't have to. You, you can leave now. I mean I mean you can the X is the top of the window browser, you can go click that if you want. I wouldn't blame you. But anyway, let's uh Thanks. get lucky day. Okay. There we go. I was saying she would probably dance around and throw grapes into the sky if she witnessed meteors. People would call me insane, but I enjoy that. Fine. Come on you in. know what, Owls? I See absolutely agree with you two. I would also... Oh, God, I thought her eyes were glowing just then. My God. But anyway, uh, yeah, Owls, I completely agree with you. Most people would be absolutely freaked out. If I saw meteors rain from the sky, I think I, for one, would be very happy for this statement. It's closed. It's always closed, isn't it? Or it's only open four hours a day. That's a bit of a problem. Oh yeah, we need to go to the fountain. By going to the fountain, we can go get her some mana, and then we can carry on killing the werewolf scum. And apparently, I have balls of titanium to take stuff like this on. Well, as I said, I like testing my metal. It seems like I can kill brigands with no problem, so I must be able to fight werewolves, right? Exactly. Exactly. I am not going inside the lair of the werewolves, though. Werewolves can drop some very nice loot, and apparently they can drop it often. You know what? That's nice to know. You know, while we're waiting for the waddle our way to me, let's get some bless going. And let's get some nice, lovely wither's eye. And then, afterwards, let's get Meteor Shower! There we go, someone died horribly. Seems wonderful. Then we want heroism. It's like, when you get buffs and when you get lovely spells, you just want to go balls to the rules and test out your metal until you die horribly. And yes, before you ask, yeah. I will go take on a drake. Why? Because I can. It's going to be an absolutely horrible experience, most likely resulting in my death, but nevertheless, I will do it. I have the plan, I have the courage, and that's what I desire. Right, we just need to fire arrows right now. That greater werewolf has not been hurt at all. That's a bit of a problem. That's actually a big problem. Oh god, that werewolf is horribly close to me. I'm just going to go over here. Can you become a werewolf? Or is that illegal in this world? Becoming a werewolf is sadly illegal. I'm sure you can get some type of mod that allows you to become a werewolf. I mean, in the other games, you can become a lich and a dragon. But in this one, it's very restrictive. It is. But uh, I think that's the most uh, the game will allow you to be. So I would like to uh, get some more spell points. There we go. And there is the greater werewolf. Oh god, he's in the town and he's coming after me. The town Drake does nothing because he's like, Oh, there's Steve! Hi, Steve! It's been like five nights since I've seen you. And everyone's happy to see us. Oh, 
We need to get him away from good old Jeremiah right there. Come close to me. Oh god, there's another wolf man. Okay, you seem close enough. Hopefully it's not close enough to murder me. Do it! Aha! You're almost dead. There we go. Now all the werewolves around that chest are dead. Now the real question is, is how ballsy do I feel today? Do I feel like I could take on the world? The real answer to that is yes. Yes, I do. Now, for those who don't understand what I mean, is I'm going to go quickly gather these corpses to gain some levels. Then, what we can do is something very, very interesting. We're going to get some loot. Now, that's the only main reason I was like it. It's like, if we can survive, we can get some amazing loot. But sadly, we don't have telekinesis, which is one of the core features of the loot. Was it, was it you who can level me up? Can no, it isn't. Is, is it you who can level me up? Hello. No. Who can level me here? The werewolves at least have class. They're color coordinated in pants and amulets. You know what? That is absolutely true. I've never really thought about that. They have class and they have some type of intrigue with each other. They have some type of trousers, loincloth. How about some I would like you. Okay. Alright, we're going to do something incredibly out there right now. Now... Most of you are going to be like, Grim, what on earth is wrong with you? Why are you tempting fate so much? Why? Because I laugh at fate. Fate is something I should be laughed at. Why? Because if someone told you you can't do something, would you listen to them? Would you? Let's be honest. No. You go and do it and see if you can. If you die in the process, now you know, in the last final moments, that you should have done that. And the person that watched you do it is, in fact, well... He done done through mistakes. He basically watched people die. That's basically how you learn from life. Like good old Gordon the Gypsy here. GG right there. Knows everything. Right. Now, for those who understand what I'm going to do, it's right here. I don't care if I die. I'm going to be bluntly honest right here. If I die, I fully accept my fate. Right, here we go. Right, so here we go. One... Two, three. Uh -oh. Hey! We survived! Hey! And we know. got a stick! And some boots! Know. And we got Lord Kilburn's shield! So now we can handle that quest if we want, and that will allow us to go do wonderful things. But sadly, someone died. But we got nearly 10,000 gold from it. Was it worth it? Yes. Killing Razoroth for his fabulous earrings was definitely worth it. Now we need to make sure we don't accidentally die by breaking our shins. There we go. We didn't break our shins. Owls. When destiny calls, I answer. When fear calls, I hang up. When death calls, I press 1 for more options. That sounds incredibly amazing. In fact, I'm part of that. Will I listen to him? No! I'm Grimple Cheese! Exactly. So with that lovely chest open and done with, we should probably go heal someone, and we should go probably find another chest. No, no, that doesn't- that sounds like a really bad idea. Yeah, that sounds like a bad idea. Why would I want to do that? Actually, what I want to go do is... Hello, you how are give you? me... Hello, how are you? You will give me nice, lovely things. Devils! My mother told me if I do things, the devil will come and get me, werewolf. Werewolves are simply people that turn into half man, half beast creatures that nice. They're especially powerful when they have a full moon. Sadly, there's no coding in the game where if it's a full moon, they turn Hello. evil. Hello? It's dark magic. It's something about uh, at least Hello. decaying. Light membership, Hello. yes, please. Thank Thousand you. gold, it's worth it. Hello, how are you? And then you, you are a member Thank of you. darkness. Worth it. So now with that underneath our belts, 